Hey everybody, welcome to XYZ 3D Printing. I'm your host, Jason. Yeah, I'm Edward. Okay, you guys, today we got a special show for you. We're gonna show you how to evaluate your own 3D printer, maybe one that you have at home, or maybe one that you have your eye out on the market. So we got seven tests in seven categories. Uh, so from here, it is the dimensional accuracy, this is the bridging performance, the overhang performance, the negative space tolerance, this is the uh, fine positive space feature performance, and the last two is the mechanical uh, resonance. I can't believe you got that all in one take, that's awesome. Yeah, I can't believe that too. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the first one is, this is dimensional accuracy, and all it does is measure um, the consistency of the curvature of the print. So this one, the, the, it's circles, right, kind of stacked on each other. Uh, as it reduces in size, uh, it's pretty consistent with the definition, right? Uh, and this becomes important if you have an elephant or you have a model and you have curvature in your model like this trunk, right? The curvature is pretty much consistent throughout the whole thing and there's, there's no Especially grouping. when you're putting small stuff, right? the tips. Right, exactly. So the next one is uh, bridging performance. Um, bridging is just connecting two points with thread. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty clean from this point to this point because the distance is very short. But if you really want to know how your printer is doing um, without support, uh, you can actually look when it prints the longest piece and if it's clean, you know that your printer is doing a good job. Uh, the next one, oh, and this relates to this model because if you have two points here, like the elbow and the wrist, uh, you can see that it's clean, we didn't use any supports, and as you can see, it's, it's pretty solid. This relates to the next one, which is the overhang performance. And this is similar to the bridging performance, but there's not two points. It's actually just one angle that's suspended. And the armpit part. Yeah, the armpit, this part. And there's no, there were, we didn't use any suspension, no supports at all, uh, and it printed Woo! out pretty cleanly. It still printed out the curvature, uh, and again, it's pretty solid. So actually, I think in this in this model, the printer's doing pretty well with bridging and suspension. Yeah, and that, that model tells it all. Definitely. Right. What we have here is the negative space tolerance. Uh, it tells you how well it prints between those gaps. So, okay, if you want to print something like this with mechanical parts, this roach here, you want to do it in one print, but it's still got to be movable. You, we want to know how to set your printing, uh, how to set your models, the gaps in between those parts. So this is going to tell you that. And, and that was all one print, right? That was I mean, one print. You didn't have to print out any piece individually. It was all printed out the this same time. This is awesome, man. Yeah, that's awesome. That's crazy. That's awesome. On the other hand, the um, positive space performance, it's going to tell you how well you print between space. Mm -hmm. For example, you want to print something with thorns, like this one. Right. The, the print is going to leave some threads in between those. Right. And if it's too much with, uh, if you if you print this model and you see too much threads in, in between them, you're gonna know that uh, you're gonna set your printer speed much slower, oh, so okay. it's not gonna leave those threads. It'll prevent that. Yeah, it'll it prevent that. Speed. Yeah. So and uh, the last two is the uh, mechanical resonance. So these machines are made of um, uh, step motors, right? They basically move in straight lines pretty well, but they wobbles a bit. They, oh, they okay. vibrates. So this one, and when that happens, it maybe yeah, these make a little bubbles, or bubbles yeah. Or, yeah. So when it goes like this, and you can see from this model, uh, you can tell how well it prints from x axis or or is y axis. And, okay. okay. So and the, on the other hand, this one tells you the z axis. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very nice. Oh, so there's actually a grading system for this. You can go check it out online. And uh, for these models, the total, the highest point is like 26. So these were actually printed by this model here, uh, the DaVinci 1.0A, and uh, it got 24. 24, that's awesome. Yeah, very good. Yeah. very good. Yeah, so the reason that we're talking about this today is, is basically a 3D printer has a personality. Depending upon their personality, they're going to have different characteristics. And the reason you want to know their characteristics is because depending upon their strengths and weaknesses, you're going to know both its limitations and its capabilities with projects. Yeah. If you like this, please subscribe and you can check on our new updates. Thanks for watching. <laughs>